What up everybody, it's Chris from Shot by the Robot. I'm a photographer based in Colorado, and we're here with a new video, and it's the last video of 2020. Mm, you feel that year going by? Getting that 600 stimmy? So, you know, it's been a couple of weeks since I uploaded stuff, I know that. Um, I have some things planned, but I want them to come out in a certain order. So I, you know, I'm the, like, I have everything planned out. I haven't filmed everything yet, but I have things I want them to come out in a certain order so they feed off of one video off the other. I also understand I ramble a little bit and I got to earn that from you. I'm a new dude. You ain't trying to watch me ramble for 20, 30 minutes. So I'm trying to make sure I keep all those videos under 15 minutes and that makes it harder. So that means I got to be scripted because I just go off tangents and we don't need that. I mean, not yet. Eventually, we're going to earn that. We're going to earn them random videos where I just talk about walking both, you know, uphill both ways in the snow and, and shit like that. And in the meantime, I want to leave you guys with a video here for the last video of 2020. We're going to do part two, looking for everybody black. And as I basically, as I come across new YouTube, new black YouTubers that are into photography and videography, I'm gonna put together a list. Every 10 peop names I get, I'm gonna make a new video. You're gonna have a playlist. When you're like, yo, who do I go to to see the, my, my people who look like me doing the things that I wanna do, doing things that I do do, ha, uh, there can be a playlist available that you can come across. Hopefully become a big enough name that you know people can know that I'm around. Even if I don't become a big name, you may, maybe you know that I'm here and you come to Chris you come to Shot by the Robot to come look at this list of black YouTubers for photography and videography. That's my hope. So leading into 2021, let's do one more video. I'm rooting for everybody black. I'm looking for everybody black. Uh, I'm gonna go off the names here. So first name, Quintavious Oliver. <laughs> That's a name, Quintavious Oliver. Um, like a guy, for those of you who got money like that, uh, or maybe you come across from a thrift store or whatever, but if you're into Leicas, which means typically street photography, and he also does some portraiture, portraiture, por, por, portraiture, portraiture, por, portraits, portrait, portraits. See, that's, that's the shit like that is going to get cut. <laughs> Back to what I was here. Gutavius Oliver, like a guy that a lot of us like a, like, camera review, uh, lens reviews, I, I, he did some uh, camera reviews as well. Um, for those of porous to shoot in Fuji, you know, maybe you can aspire to that. But he does have some uh, street photography videos, um, some stuff talking about just being a black photographer, that's literally how I found him. Also has some stuff, travel photography, and some uh, portrait photography, so uh, some cool videos to watch there. Um, next up, I'm probably gonna butcher this name, I'm sorry. It's Issy Akahome. Hopefully that's correct. He is a Chicago-based uh, fashion and beauty photographer. I believe that's what I saw. I'm sorry if I'm wrong about the Chicago part, but I'm pretty sure that's what I saw on his website. Has some amazing work, really good work. Um, editing's on the lo uh, looks amazing, and he has some BTS videos. Uh, he has a, uh, some gear videos as well, some review videos. They're a lot like mine, just chilling in, in your crib talking. And then he has just amazing photos uh, as well. I really like his work. Um, hope to link up with that dude one day. I'm definitely be in Chicago. My best friend lives in Chicago. My girl's from Chicago. I'm gonna be out there. Let's link. Uh, another person who I will eventually be in their neck of the woods. Not gonna be anytime soon though. Is um, by the names of Hughes Adelaide. Uh She is based in London. Uh, primarily travel uh, related. Um, videos but she has some awesome um photography videos one of the, the video that made me put her on the list is she has a video where she's doing like a fashion shoot uh with someone and it looks pretty awesome found her just looking up some fuji stuff and she came across her videos does some uh, gear reviews primarily a lot of her stuff is fashion or travel related so like taking trips out of that so if you're in europe and you know are interested in that go check her out and then hopefully she'll do a lot more photography related content because I really enjoyed that fashion video for real. Little note here, um, as I go into the next name, 
something that I learned even with the battery grip on the Fuji X-T2 when one battery dies the recording stops huh kinda you know kills it the reason that you might have a battery grip on your hair I guess then I have to start using an AC adapter Less, enough bitching let's get to the next name here uh, Ian Hippolyte Ian Hippolyte uh, is a fashion photographer uh, looks like he's also based in the UK um, has some awesome videos, a lot of tutorials and stuff like that, shooting a lot of, uh, I think, uh, from what I saw, primarily in studio, but he does fashion, and I mean like high fashion things, you know, um, uh, we're not like someone like me who I like to do a lot of, you know, editorial street wear focus things, because I'm a, sne you know, I'm a retired, semi-retired sneakerhead, that's where I come from, and so those are like the type of you know, that's where I get my fashion from. So while I do really enjoy menswear and things of that, I come through it from a streetwear mind where he has like straight up high fashion stuff. So go check him out. Really dope. And as always, links for these guys' channels will be below. Uh, next up is Cadron Franklin. Uh, I forget how I came across him, um, but he does like per uh, actually portrait portraits 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 and videography um, so it looks like he does like, like a lot of stuff there a lot of BTS videos uh, reviews on stuff um, I think I if I uh, you know just a lot of content on there so uh, some of these names you know content may be a little sparse um, because it's 2020 and you know a lot of people aren't making videos who am I to talk of course but this guy had a lot of stuff so go check him out um, another person I've come across recently is uh, named Shot by Shingi. Uh, I hope I've got that right. Shot, Shot by Shingi, uh, f primarily film. I don't think I saw any digital stuff on his uh, video on his YouTube. Uh, but it looks like he does a lot of portraits as well, and he does if you're in the film. Uh, I think he's mostly 35 millimeter film, but really awesome uh so some videos there and it looks like he's trying to do a lot you know something similar to me with a, a much larger platform he has some you know does have followers and he's doing things where he's going to be uh, going to be featuring people's instagrams featuring black uh, and women artists uh, instagram so that's actually something i want to do myself once i get my instagram built back up i actually cleared my instagram out here so once i uh, except for one important picture uh once i get my instagram built back up i will want to you know try to get myself featured on that too because i think that's pretty cool uh be uh next up here is someone who's kind of uh seems to be like i don't want to say like myself but like i can see myself being where he's at in six months a year um it looks like he's learning a lot um i learning a lot when it comes to videography and stuff as he goes which i'm doing myself and so you'll see a lot of that in his, his content, but I think it's good to like, you know, someone's out there learning. Uh, he goes by the name of James Media. Um, but yeah, a lot of, I, I wanna say, I don't wanna say beginner, but like beginner intermediate stuff on there, uh, stuff about videos and I've learned some stuff. I don't know how to really color grade. That's why I just sh do, picture profile with Fuji, throw it on there and we good. And, I, and sometimes I lift the shadows a little bit and that's the extent of what I do for color grading. And he has a good video where he was showing you, like, uh, from a beginner mindset, which is what I have, how he's color grading using scopes and stuff. I don't know what any of that is. Follow him for that. Uh, another person for video. Um, I don't think I saw any photography on her, uh, on her channel, but a lot of videography stuff from a, both the, like a run and gun and plus cinematographer standpoint, which I haven't seen too many of outside of, like, no, for uh, for black people, I don't think I have because even with like YC imaging, it's more run and gun stuff that he does. I don't see like cinematography like on a set type of stuff that seems to have what she does. Um, so Brittany Janae, Brittany Janae um, has some cool videos regarding videography, and I do. Even though I'm not a videographer, I like to just watch those and pick up you know just different tips and stuff to make these videos better for hopefully you guys. Um, Brittany Janae was awesome. Next up is Stock Easy, uh, New York based photographer. It looks like majority of his videos are about street photography. He has some gear review with Fuji stuff, has some gear review with Leica stuff. Um, also has some stuff about portraits. Yeah, I'm gonna just say portraits now. It's, that's in my head because of uh, Kai, 
from Digital Rev. So we're going portraits now. So he shoots some portraits, has some cool stuff on his website, uh, but majority of his video is street photography related. So if you're not into that, eh. I just saw my monitor go off behind me. <laughs> Hope that wasn't too distracting. Last but definitely not least is one I found recently and I'm enjoying his videos myself, even as someone who doesn't shoot film. Uh, he goes by Mike Gray. Um, looks like he shoots majority medium format uh, photography. And he does mostly portraits and they look dope. Um, it may be honest with you. I've never been a film guy. I have a couple film cameras up there. I have, you see that uh, silver right there. That's a Yashka uh, Electro that I found, a rangefinder that I found at an uh, antique store for like maybe 20 bucks. Like it was on sale. They were doing like this uh, crawl where you would go across all these antique stores and stuff like that. And I found it and it was working with the battery and everything. I haven't, um, I have some filming there right now that I need to finish up the roll. It's probably something that I'll do. Make, maybe I'll make a video of that and just finish up that roll. See, this is what I was talking about. I ramble. But um, this guy, Mike Gray, awesome stuff. Uh, the videos look pretty well, like they look really well produced. Well, I don't, like, they just, they look good. Like they don't look like they're taking with an iPhone. It looks like someone knows what they're doing is taking these videos. And the, the photos come out super awesome. Looks like, and he's most, from what I've seen, I haven't watched all his stuff yet, but from what I've seen also, he's mostly working with black models, which, you know, gotta appreciate that too. And yeah, a uh, first video I saw, it was him in studio and I was like, oh my God, those video, those photos are so nice. Makes me want to go shoot. And then he had another one where he's in the forest or in the woods with him, with his model, taking pictures of her, looks super nice. And then I saw a video where he's going on a road trip. Dude had to change his hoodie because he was wanting to go take some photos of a biker gang. He had to change his hoodie so he didn't get stomped out. And I'm like, I appreciate that. That's some real shit because I'm someone who lives in Colorado and sometimes I'm driving around. I'm like, I want to take a photo here. I want to go stop off at this small town. I'm like, nah, bruh, let's keep on moving. You might get some good photos or you might die. So that was, I appreciated that. Um, but Mike Gray is the last one on this volume two of I'm looking for everybody black on YouTube and definitely go check everybody out you know like and sub support and let them know I sent you maybe they'll come follow back that I appreciate that too and because I want these all people all everyone I found has they have a bigger platform than I do and of course yeah I want them to follow me but also I want them to share this so that we can all come together in a two years we got the black photography videography YouTube convention and we out you. Um, so I appreciate anyone who's watching this and sharing this, especially if you're sharing this to in here, go sub to everybody links down below as always. And you know, how does YouTube game works? I appreciate it. If you like, love it. If you sub peace.